How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot to talk about in this video. A bit of a PlayStation Plus update for the month of November. Some free content available for Plus subscribers. On top of that, you guys might not be aware of this, but a Plus Extra title has already been revealed for the month of November. It's a day one release as well, and the game has just gotten a gameplay overview trailer. We'll talk all about that. Speaking of free, some free DLC available on the PlayStation Store. Speaking of free again, Lords of the Fallen's free DLC roadmap has been revealed. The free content plan for 2023, a lot of stuff coming as a part of that. And Assassin's Creed Mirage has gotten a major update. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Genshin Impact has a free PlayStation Plus promotion available right now. It's a PS Plus exclusive where you get some in-game items. Get this item and you'll get 20 Heroes with Mystical Enhancement or X15, Mora 50,000, Fragile Resin X2 as well. Genshin Impact, obviously one of the most popular free-to-play games on planet Earth. The game is wildly popular. It is very dangerous for your bank account as well, so keep that in mind. But uh, if you want to try it out for free, uh, it is available and this promotion is running for Plus subscribers until December the 19th. Obviously, uh, Hoyoverse is working on a couple of other games. They have Honkai Star Rail available now. Genshin Impact just had a major free update drop, I believe, today. And then uh, sometime in 2024, they will also be releasing Zedless Zone Zero. That game has its uh, closed beta signups available right now. The closed beta only available on Android, iOS, and PC, but the ult ultimately the release, the full release, will be on consoles as well. Moving on from that, some of you guys might not be aware, but Teardown is coming to PlayStation Plus on release day come November the 15th. Teardown is a game that's been available on PC for a little bit, and it's been received very, very well, and I think people were fairly excited when the game was announced for a PlayStation release. Uh... To circle back to its PC release on Steam, it's got 73,000 Steam user reviews, and 96% of those reviews have been positive. An 80 on Metacritic as well, and it'll finally be making the transition to PlayStation 5. There's a gameplay overview trailer that just dropped hair down as a sandbox heist game featuring environmental destruction, simulated physics, and a world of creativity. You can experience it on PlayStation 5 this November 15th, and PlayStation Plus Extra subscribers have immediate access to play the game on day one. Given that November 15th is the release date for this. I imagine that the rest of the Plus Extra lineup will either be revealed or completely roll out by then as well. So that's pretty exciting. The game notes plan the perfect heist using creative problem solving, brute force, and everything around you. Teardown features a fully destructible and truly interactive environment where player freedom and emergent gameplay are the driving mechanics. Teardown walls with explosives or vehicles to create shortcuts that no one thought was possible. Stack objects, build structures, or use floating objects to your advantage. Take your time to create an efficient path through each level then execute your heist and make a daring escape run jump dive boost do whatever you need to collect targets avoid robots or steal whatever your clients ask for but make sure not to get caught you've got a variety of different game modes to get into campaign is going to be what most of you i imagine check out with your company pressured by increasing debt you start accepting work from some more or less shady individuals soon you are knee deep in a murky soup of revenge betrayal and insurance fraud you've got the sandbox mode where you really left your own devices play around in the various environments with the tools you have unlocked uh in this mode you have unlimited resources and an abundance of vehicles as well as a creative mode editor where you can build voxel creations from scratch no pressure just pleasure and then challenges test your skills in experimental game modes, new challenges unlock as you progress through the campaign. Mods, play the best community created mods, easily install new maps, mini games, tools, vehicles, and more using the in-game mod manager, and fully destructible voxel environments, realistic physical simulation of objects, debris, vehicles, water, fire, and smoke, wide variety of tools ranging from a sledgehammer, blowtorch, and fire extinguisher to guns and explosives, multiple campaigns with over 40 escalating missions, sandbox mode for you to build, explore, and destroy various environments, and community created mods as well. Well, all of that will be rolling out day one for Plus Extra subscribers on November 15th. We'd like to see more games like Teardown on PlayStation Plus regularly. Again, I'm never going to be one that's like, yo, we need big budget titles. We need uh, Spider-Man 2 or even like... Uh, it's great that Game Pass offers Lies of P and uh, games of that caliber as well. Persona 3 Reload, and I would love to see stuff like that on PlayStation Plus Extra, but, uh, you know, even games like Teardown, I think, can be advantageous to offer uh, on the service, and it's nice to see, and hopefully a lot more people check it out with it being on Plus Extra. 
And uh, again, obviously, I would love to see bigger budget titles on the service. It's just, I don't think Sony's going to go down that route. So why even ask for it? Next up, do want to quickly note Sackboy, a big adventure celebrations emote pack is free on the US PSN store. The game's available on PlayStation Plus Extra, and now it has some free DLC. They roll out free content for this game all the time. It's minor, like emote, costumes, things like that. Nothing too crazy, but that free content is available right now. And another game that is available on Plus Extra. Continuing the free stuff, Lords of the Fallen has been received fairly well. I know the game has had some uh, performance issues, to say the least, a myriad of issues as far as performance goes, but they have outlined Lords of the Fallen free content planned for 2023 coming from developer Hexworks, noting that right now ongoing weekly enhancements include stability, performance, save game fixes, co-op and PvP improvements. Balancing PvE is at the priority of that, increased boss difficulty, and quality of life tweak. So that's ongoing being worked on right now and being rolled out at a weekly basis. Currently in development, and they already know they've launched the Halloween event and the Mob Density Reduction uh, update. You've got the Umbral Armor set and quest line. You've got Invento uh, Inventory Expansion 1, New Spells Pack 1. You've got an Armor set and quest line for Rogar as well. New Quest Line event, New Spells Pack 2, New Grievous Strikes, Split PvE and PvP Balancing, uh, Stash Inventory Expansion 2, Additional Secret Boss Weapons and Abilities. You've got Gamepad Rebinding, Radiant Armor set, quest line and new game plus modifier so expect this to be a game that gets better and better over time Lords of the Fallen was one of those games that I saw and I was like, man, that $70 price tag for the game could be dicey. But right now you can already start getting the game at a bit of a discount. Now the discount available for the game is like, you know, getting it as a part of a buy two, get one free, but that's still pretty advantageous to get it that way. And I do believe the game is going to see a significant discount come Black Friday, whether it be down to 50, 45 is what I think is likely. I remember like back in the day when the $60 price tag, and I say back in the day, it's like, bro, a year ago, we were regularly getting $60 games. We still get regular $60 games. But uh, when games were $60 regularly, like 35 would be the price point that a lot of these games would go to for Black Friday if it came out during the holidays. Um, now, maybe it'll be like a 45 40 that the $70 titles go to. Um, Lords of the Fallen is one of those $70 games that I could see getting discounted. Like a Spider-Man 2 won't get discounted, I don't think so. But Lords of the Fallen absolutely could see that going on sale. And hey, for 40 45 might be the price point to check it out at. But if you continue waiting, man, it's just going to get updated. It's just going to get more content rolled out and this is one of those games that very much is a showcase of release the game now fix it up and it'll get better over time probably more of a publisher decision rather than the decision of hexworks because the game came out and literally they made a statement right off the rip that it had performance issues on xbox which is kind of wild to see but you're seeing stuff like that pretty regularly with a game like city skylines too them coming out ahead of the release of the game uh, telling you that the performance was going to be bad. So, you know, these things happen, to say the least. All right, lastly, I do want to know that Assassin's Creed Mirage has gotten its title update 1.05 some major changes added with that added an option to enable or disable chromatic aberration while wearing the fire demon outfit players would not receive the correct number of shards after assassinating any hunter basem now has an equal chance to play any of his takedown animations during front executions fix issues with store rewards and fire eater enemies hitbox is now properly considering one shot kills with the throwing knife when breaking the oil jar on their back uh, quest changes have been noted and graphics ui and animation updates have been noted as as well. Assassin's Creed Mirage is one of those games as well. Uh, it dropped at $50, but I could see it going down to $25 to $30 come Black Friday. It is interesting, though. The Ubisoft MO has always been, yo, let's release these games that have microtransactions so ingrained into the heart of the game where they're trying to sell you more content. They're trying to sell you all these microtransactions. AC Mirage isn't necessarily exactly like that, so I wonder if this is a game that's going to hold up in price a little bit more so than on other Ubisoft titles, but we'll see. If that does come to fruition, obviously this is a much shorter Assassin's Creed game, which is something that I think a lot of people uh, have been wanting for quite a while. But uh, check it out. At this point, you know, it's 50 bucks. It is a part of the buy two get one free that Amazon is running. So if you want something like a MGS Master Collection, Assassin's Creed, and I don't know, Final Fantasy 16, I mean, right there, I threw you three pretty good options uh, to take advantage of that sale. But uh, that'll do it for me. Again, a bunch of PlayStation Plus updates, Genshin Impact, getting some free content there, Teardown, getting 
a gameplay overview trailer. That'll be out day one on November the 15th. And Sackboy Big Adventure, available on Plus Extra, uh, gets some free content. Lords of the Fallen gets its free content roadmap for 2023. And Assassin's Creed Mirage gets a major update. And update 1.05. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.